After only four hours of meeting, this woman tells the man that they will get married in the future. Stunned, he asks her why she is so sure. The woman firmly replies that it was the man himself who told her this when she was very young. Henry, a librarian, meets a girl named Claire who comes to the library one day. Upon seeing Henry, Claire becomes excited, almost to the point of tears, and she even invites Henry to have dinner with her. Claire tells Henry that she will explain everything when they are together. Henry, looking surprised, still accepts Claire's invitation. In the next scene, we see Henry getting dressed, preparing for his date with Claire. However, he suddenly appears naked in a dark alley. He breaks into a room and takes clothes from the room. As he leaves, he encounters the police, but just a second later, he vanishes into thin air. At the restaurant, Claire explains that he has been visiting her since she was just six years old. She mentions that he often visited her, but she has never seen him this young. Henry is currently 28 years old. It turns out that Henry is a time traveler who involuntarily travels through time to the past or future, appearing naked with each journey, necessitating an immediate search for clothes. Claire explains that Henry first appeared to her when she was six years old. He was hiding in the bushes and asked her to find him some clothes. She ran back home and secretly brought him her father's clothes. Once dressed, Henry revealed his secret as a time traveler to Claire. He informed her that he would return to that spot in six days and asked her to prepare clothes and shoes for him. He also suggested that she keep a diary of the times they met. Claire goes back to Henry's apartment with him. Unable to restrain herself any longer, she initiates a closer approach. They share a passionate and romantic night together. Afterwards, they start living together, and Claire incessantly asks him about how he's been over the years. Henry grows increasingly fond of this gentle girl. As their relationship develops, Claire introduces Henry to her friends Gomez. However, since Claire has been single for so many years, and Henry suddenly appears, Gomez is naturally wary of him. Things escalate quickly when Gomez witnesses Henry, dressed oddly, fighting with someone on the street and even undressing in a store. This is Henry from the future who has traveled back to the present. When confronted with Henry's explanation of time travel, Gomez is initially skeptical, but his disbelief turns to belief when he sees Henry disappear right before his eyes. The next day, Gomez hurriedly seeks out Claire to advise her against continuing her relationship with Henry. However, Claire is not concerned at all. She tells Gomez that she has known about Henry's unique situation since she was six years old. Claire asserts to Gomez, I have loved him all my life. With such a profound and long-standing connection, she feels there's nothing to be worried about. Meanwhile, 28-year-old Henry, time travels into the past and encounters his young mother on a bus. It turns out that when Henry was three, he was in a car accident. At the moment of crisis, his body began to disappear, and he found himself spending time with his parents. By the time he returned, his mother had died in the accident. In the midst of the chaos, a man appears and tells him, you will travel through time. As the man is actually his future self, Henry repeatedly tried to return to the past to save his mother, but each attempt ends in failure. Henry enjoys a heartfelt conversation with his young mother. He tells her about a girl who makes him feel at ease in a way he has never experienced before. And his mother advises him to always express his feelings to this girl. Henry retrieves the ring his mother used to wear and places it on Claire's finger, bringing a joyful smile to her face. The wedding day arrives quickly. However, Henry uncontrollably travels through time again, leaving the bridesmaids urging and Gomez anxiously pacing. Finally, an older Henry with grey hair returns, a version of him from the future. Despite the unexpected turn, the wedding is successfully completed. During the evening dance, the present time Henry finally makes it back. But just as they are about to enjoy their wedding night, Henry disappears again. Claire is left alone, but she is not afraid to wait, knowing Henry will return. Meanwhile, Henry has traveled back to when Claire was a child. When young Claire hears that Henry is married, she feels jealous, wishing it was she who married him. Back in the present, Henry shares this story with Claire, making her laugh and dispelling any lingering complaints she might have had. Loving a time traveler is always a painful affair. Henry might disappear while taking a shower or during a meal, leaving Claire to wait for him at home, alone and patient, never knowing whether he has gone to the past or the future. On one occasion, he disappears for half a month, missing Christmas and New Year's. Claire is close to her breaking point. To make it up to his wife, Henry buys a lottery ticket, and using his time-traveling ability, wins five million dollars. He plans to buy a bigger house with a large yard and plenty of rooms, even a studio for Claire. On moving day, Gomez comes to help. 
Suddenly there's a scream from inside the house. A future version of Henry has been shot in the stomach and lies naked on the ground. He vanishes shortly after. Claire tells Henry that she is pregnant and urges him to seek medical help. As a child she had heard from a future version of Henry about a geneticist who could potentially help him. Henry candidly discusses his time travel with the doctor, who initially doesn't believe him. Henry is about to give up, but then Claire has a miscarriage. They speculate whether the fetus inherited Henry's time-traveling ability and left the womb that way. Henry also shares detailed information about the doctor, learned from Clara, which convinces the doctor to examine him. The examination reveals that Henry's brain emits a buzzing, similar to that of epilepsy patients, whenever he time-travels. Therefore, a taking medication for epilepsy might help to some extent. Meanwhile, Claire becomes pregnant again, but suffers another miscarriage, which devastates her. Henry no longer dares to let Claire get pregnant, so he secretly undergoes a vasectomy. Claire becomes very angry when she finds out, as she has never had a choice and can only wait for Henry to return time and again. Now, Henry also deprives her of her right to be a mother. Henry travels back in time again, this time to over a decade ago when Claire is just 16 or 17. The young Claire notices Henry's low spirits and persistently asks him what happened. However, Henry consistently refuses to reveal the reason. Henry kisses her forcefully. However, Henry soon realizes that this is the first kiss for Claire in this timeline. He acknowledges his mistake, comforts Claire, and eventually they kiss passionately. Late at night, Claire receives a phone call and sneaks outside. It turns out to be Henry from the past who has traveled to the present. This Henry is still young and has not undergone the surgery. The cold winter night is warm in the car. Being affectionate with the husband from the past shouldn't count as infidelity. Claire becomes pregnant again, and this time the pregnancy progresses smoothly, with tests revealing a baby girl. As the due date approaches, Claire starts thinking of names for her daughter. During this time, Henry travels to the future, where he meets their daughter at the age of ten. They talk a lot, like good friends. The daughter has inherited his time-traveling ability and can control her destinations. However, the conversation turns somber when she reveals that she knows Henry will die when she is five years old. Back in his original time, Henry keeps this information to himself and suggests to Claire that they name their daughter Alba. Shortly after, Alba is born. For the next five years, although Henry continues to time travel occasionally, their life remains relatively peaceful. One day Claire sees an additional child beside Alba. It's their daughter from the future. After the future Alba leaves, the present Alba becomes sad because she has learned from her future self that her father will soon pass away. Despite Henry's repeated instructions to Alba not to tell her mother, Claire finds out anyway. She asks Henry if it was the time travel incident where he was shot that will cause his departure from their lives. Henry, with a mixture of fear and reluctance in his eyes, bitterly admits that he doesn't know. Not long after, Henry gets trapped in a snowy landscape during one of his time travels and returns, unable to stand due to severe frostbite on his feet. Alba tells Henry that if he sings, he can control the time and place of his travels. However, unlike his daughter, Henry doesn't possess this extraordinary talent. He then travels a few days into the future and discovers that he will die on Christmas Eve. Returning to his original time, Henry asks Claire to invite all their friends and family over on that day. Claire quickly senses something is amiss and asks why he's invited everyone. Henry tenderly responds that he doesn't want her to be alone when he leaves. The couple holds each other tightly, cherishing every minute and every second they have left together. Then, during one of his travels, Henry finds himself in the woods where he encounters a deer. Two hunters soon arrive and Henry is shot. In his dying moments, he travels back to the present but it's too late to save him. Four years later, Alba is nine years old. One day, while playing with friends, a younger version of Henry from over ten years ago suddenly appears. Alba quickly sends her friends to call her mother. Claire, upon hearing the news, runs desperately to see Henry and manages to reach him just before he vanishes again. Tearfully, she asks why he never told her he would come at this time. Henry warmly replies that he didn't want her to wait. He doesn't realize that Claire isn't afraid of waiting. She's afraid that once he leaves, he'll never return. 
Henry disappears again shortly after, and mother and daughter return home, comforting each other. Will Henry come back again? Surely he will.